Pierre Bergier from Lalamand Health Solutions, Ida Smith from Fish and Hansen, Radana Skokovic Sinic. This poster shows a project we did on trying to identify novel yeasts with probiotic functions. And um, the basis for this is the fact that right now on the market of probiotic yeasts, there's really only one yeast. And so my project was trying to explore the world beyond the Saccharomyces genus of yeasts. And we looked at how they interacted with uh, human immune cells and looking for candidates that could modify immune function in the direction of a regulatory response. Because we believe this is the way you can modify the immune system and that would be beneficial in the conditions characterized by excessive inflammation. It's looking at uh, published research and evidence for probiotics specifically in Canada and looking at what kind of evidence or what indication what specific strains and products have. So it's used uh, with the clinicians, by clinicians and primary care healthcare professionals to help decide what product to recommend for what indication to their patients. We are talking about uh, flow cytometry methods, alternative analytical methods using that technology in order to assess viability, specificity and quantity of microorganisms in multi-strand products containing yeast and or bacteria. Um, the idea there was to overcome uh, the classical microbiology limitations regarding the culturability, the specificity and the high variability of those classical methods uh, in order to be faster and quicker and more accurate in the delivery of results. So we developed specific methods for that uh, using specific viability dyes and we generated antibodies against our own bacteria in order to combine in a single assay all these parameters in one single analysis which take one to two hours instead of two to four days uh, for the previous methods. And I truly do believe personally that it could be the future in uh, analytical sciences.